Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Modded Character Showcase. We are going to jump back in for our second episode as Adam here, trying to complete out his completion marks. I think we're going to stick with Adam and Abel for now, trying to complete these guys and complete their completion marks. And then maybe we'll jump in as one of the older characters, maybe um, Samuel or something like that. People have been saying they want to see more from that. But anyways, for now, we're going to jump in to uh, a run as Adam and see what we can do. So we kind of figured out last time that it's pretty good to stay in the higher luck version of Adam earlier on just because even though you're a bit weaker, I think higher luck and higher fire rate is genu genuinely a little bit better, a little bit more useful. Um, Got to be a little careful of these guys. I'd rather not lose my eternal heart if I can help it. Um, Come over here, you. Oh, really? You're appearing in the absolute worst locations possible for me to hit you right now, my guy. There's so much of the room. <laughs> Anyways, uh, how is everybody doing on this fine, fine day? Are you glad to be back watching some more of the good old modded character series? I'm really happy with uh, having this as a more regular series now, uh, rather than just being simply to showcase the character the one time. I think it's a bit more uh, fitting of the channel and fitting of what you guys would like to see to have it as a, as a more regular showcase. I don't know about you guys, but that's how I'm feeling about it at the moment. Oh, this is a... A rather rough um, rough room here. In fact, this is kind of an awful room. This is one of those rooms where it's like you have to know how to do this trick. Otherwise, basically, you're not going to get out of it unscathed. I mean, it's not exactly a trick, but using momentum to uh, carry your shots. It's a little difficult to do at this specific angle, though. God damn it, I really can't do it. There you go. I just really don't want to lose my eternal heart right now. It's uh, it's the only thing keeping me going, man. Okay, that's blood. Um, you fire homing shots. That's not too bad because they fire in kind of a pattern that's avoidable. But they, these guys are trickier now that they've been reworked. Not crazy, crazy, but still trickier. Infested. I can't believe that infested gave us a literal single spider. But yeah, let's try and get our item room first. See what we can get. As for um, what we're trying to do this episode, I guess we'll just go Dark Path and um, we'll leave it at that. Or we could maybe go Mother. It really depends on how well we're looking after this first floor. If this, if this first item room ends up being something that really carries a lot of uh, power with it, then we'll think about doing Mother this time around. But we'll see. Um, Dirty Mind? I do quite like Dirty Mind uh, as an item. I think as far as it goes, it's pretty goddamn good. Um, it's, I don't think it's a, it's a mother one. Oh, having an eternal heart to start is really rough. It's, it's good because it's like, it gives you that extra bit of power if you can manage to keep it. But that's the second time now that we've lost it early on. So not, not great for me so far. God damn. Definitely feel like I need more damage right now. I am going to crack this. Try and get some extra stuff. We got an extra key as well as more extra keys. <laughs> Not particularly useful. That was a very big risk there. That could have just killed me. Um, but anyways, we've got that. We'll flip over our apple into our um, more mighty option with the higher damage. And we'll see what we get that, that works with us this time around. But yeah, Dirty Mind I, I quite like. I think it's it's good just because I just like having like these guys to protect us and help us. But also, it's good that it works with Fiend Folio to provide us with some pretty interesting uh, flavors of... Um, dips. I quite like it. Good, good. And Magic Scab gives us that HP back that we would have lost. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for a risk on this and try and maybe go for a, a run down to Mother. We'll see how this works out. Um yeah, I'm I am i am going to give this a go and see if it see if it goes in our favour. You never know what what might come of a run like this as little old Adam here. We only have two keys, so we're not going to pop that yet. One great thing I really like about Dirty Mind that not many people know or not many people think about is it gives every rock the chance to be a poop. It gives every rock the chance to be replaced by poop because otherwise on late floors it wouldn't be very useful as an item. Um, but that's actually more beneficial than you'd think because in certain areas it can replace a rock with a poop that gives you access to stuff that you otherwise wouldn't have access to. Now, I am seeing that we have a, a giant bucket in this room. Um, that's one of the giant props. We've actually been getting a good amount of giant props. You, you can always tell if there's a giant prop in the room by the name of the room. You can see it starts off with bra in brackets GP at the very bottom of our screen there. That means it's a giant prop room. Right, try and get as many of these friends as we can just to 
help us out. They do a good job of just, like, blocking enemies from getting to us, which is quite nice. Also, I really like the fact that we've got the insta-kill poops on outside of combat. Makes collecting up dips like this way better. But yeah, if we manage to get four bombs, we can blow up that giant uh, pile there, but I doubt it. Imp Sword is pretty good here, um, and actually does affect, um, does get affected by luck, I believe, if it said that. Um, luck affected chance, yeah, so having six luck in this mode is going to be really nice, basically, for a chance to deal triple damage. Um, obviously, it's not a high chance, even with high luck, but still, any chance is good. Beautiful stuff. You can see there, we've got a crit on either one of those guys. Nice. And we've built up quite the army of friends here. Quite the army of turdy little followers. And in here, we literally can't be hit if we stand amongst these poopy friends. Unfortunately, we ain't getting the bombs we thought we would be getting, so... No bombs as of yet for blowing up that pot. But e either way, we need two bombs for the next floor, so we can't really afford to throw away two bombs on, um, on that. But there's a single bomb. We've got one at least. We are... One-fourth of the way there, technically. But yeah, rooms like this are great, because you just get an army of dips and you just sit in the army. And the contact damage they deal isn't crazy high, but when there's this many of them, it's enough to stave off pretty much every enemy you come across. Um, obviously, we are trying to get a devil deal here. Uh, well, we're not, we're not actually going to go devil deal, we're going to go angel. We're trying to keep the devil deal alive, um, is what I mean. But e even, even bosses like this, as long as we stay in our little hatch of, uh, of turds here... He has absolutely no way of getting to us. I, I believe, at least. I think maybe if he does his spring attack, he might be able to push through. But so far, so good. So I'm going to stay sort of within my army, within my uh, within my own little kingdom here. And you can see that they're doing a pretty good uh, bit of damage. They've actually managed to kill most of them. But through that, we stayed alive and we've cleared the floor. Uh, we didn't get enough bombs, but we did get one bomb, which will help us. I'm not going to bother with a dice room. I think two keys for a dice room. Little iffy. Real realistically, five room is the only one I care about, and the chances of that one in six for two keys isn't particularly in my favour, so I'm just going to say no. And we'll start to rebuild this army a little bit here. We probably should have switched over to our power mode, but honestly, now with six luck, um, I am more tempted to just stay in a uh, in fast fire rate mode for that luck increase, just because Imp Sword is pretty powerful. Now, I don't know the actual luck-affected chances of Imp Soda, what the base chances are, and what each additional point of luck does to those chances, but I would probably say it's like a 5% chance by base, and it gives plus 1% or plus 2% for every point of luck you have. We seem to be firing a, a shot, but maybe every, like, 1 in one in 10 or so. And we've got ourselves our item room just here. Oh, God, I hate the water like this. <laughs> Ooh, this is new. Um, grants a chain of coffin familiars that follows behind you and blocks projectiles. The coffins will break open after blocking enough projectiles, shooting flames and spawning dead friends. Uh, coffins respawn periodically over um, the time or upon entering a new room. I like that. Helicopter boys probably would have been slightly better, but I like this. Also, the visual of this like little skull mask we got on us is kind of nice. I like it. Little coffin friends to help us out potentially. Oh wait, all these were all, all those were enemies were dips, but all the dips are uh, friendly with dirty mind. I forget that it just makes all dips friendly. That that's another big bonus of this. Well, I would say big bonus, but it's another bonus of it. I think this actually gave us maybe a damage boost as well. No, that's just our tier size from Tropica, Tropicana, whatever you want to call it. Right. Yeah, I don't know how good this coffin item is going to be, but the fact that they block shots is good enough for it to be, like, decent for me. It's weird having this tier size and this lower damage. We will open that for the bombs, as we uh, said earlier. We do require bombs for... Oh, God. We do require bombs for making sure that we can open the door. You see, my, my dips are just completely knocking this guy off the track that he was on. Good, good. Uh, are we doing boss now? Yeah, let's do boss now. Again, I think it's probably better off that we just stay in regular mode now. Because of Imp Soda. Although, I, I don't know. May maybe not. It's kind of hard to tell. But yeah, we've got a lot of things that block projectiles on our side now. So, we're, we're pretty defensible to, to shots, at least. I think I like the faster shooting. Just feels nicer. 
it's good to use the different modes at different occasions, but I think this one, with what we've got going on right now with a look based effect, is more prominent. Fire rate there's pretty good, although it's not a lot of fire rate. Um, and we shall get going. Honestly, we'll do that boss again as well, because I feel pretty confident in uh, taking care of the boss with our current setup. Right, into the mirror realm we go. Obviously, we have to go get our uh, key piece as well. But we can regain our dip army throughout these rooms, because the poops will respawn in all the rooms, as you can see. Which helps us uh, be prepared for the boss, because that's that's kind of... I wouldn't say it's the main thing that kept us alive in the boss, because that boss is fairly easy anyways, but it's the main thing that helped us in the boss. Okay, the water's causing some issues for us here. What else we got? Some bucket boys. Another one over here, isn't there? Yes, there is. Do you want to walk into my army? You think that'd be fun? And also, yeah, extra room rewards. I will take a pill. There's that health up that we missed on the first floor. Makes me feel better, that does. Right, three hearts. It does mean now we could take a devil deal if we so fancied, but I still think angel deal is probably the way to go. Ooh, some options. Nice. Basically, at the end of a room, um, we will get the opportunity to choose between a wooden uh, item or a normal item. Not item. Uh, consumable. Good. Not Apparently not every time. I thought it was every room that you got the choice, but apparently it's not. Still, though, uh, we get the choice every now and again. And sometimes it can give you cards or pills or better stuff than you otherwise would have got. Which is always nice. There you go, like this. We can get a bomb on mystery. And in our mystery was a key. Nice. Alright, this guy's not too shabby, not too difficult. A lot of extra room rewards here. Pretty nice. We got that instead of a penny, which ended up being a bomb. See? Pretty good. Soul Heart will just take, obviously. You'd have to be careful you don't accidentally leave the things you wanted to take, though, because that can happen pretty easily. Right, still staying nestled in our army here. Use a bomb to just speed things up a little bit, because we've got quite a lot of bombs. And we get Placenta out of this as well. Not too shabby. Oh, look, there you go. Look, one of our thingies broke and gave us a little mini dude. Cool. Right. Happy with that. Oh, does the mini dude stays. Ooh, very nice. But the coffins do respawn. I like that. Come on, my little, little mini Bernie dude. Are you going to be um, like a mini forgotten where you have like a little a little thingy to hit, hit enemies with? Or is that going to be just like a mini Isaac that we would have normally where it's going to fire shots? I'm not sure if it'll be like a forgotten one with the swinging burn or not. Um, secret room wise, I'm actually not too confident. I'll be honest, I I don't really know where it could be. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a bit of a gamble here and hope it's directly up from me right now. That is very nice. Cracked key. Chest. Not bad. Not bad. Cracked key, I'll just use here. Unfortunately, no value in that. Hey, he does use a little swing. That's beautiful. What a little lad. Right, we can bomb our way into either of these. We just have to be a little careful of the bombs being pushed by the water. So in here, we've got a speed up, which honestly isn't, isn't very valuable. But for a boss fight that's not going to be that hard, I think it's worth it. Especially with all these dips to help us out, to be honest. Come on, Mini Isaac, get in there. Get clubbing. Get to clubbing. There's six bombs now as well. Yeah, and also now we're not in ghost form either, so... Nowhere near as hard. He is destroying a lot of our dips by just plumping his fat little ass on them, but... Not to worry, more poops were provided. Oh, my dude, my guy, 
You've got to know that's not what I wanted to do at all, right? You've got to know that. I'm going to have to go look in the shop just to be depressed now. Just to know what I missed out on. Oh, that the guy was still alive. God damn it. False PhD I will take. I do quite like false PhD for damage. And black hearts. Neither of those give me anything. Good. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a little peeved that I accidentally spent 10 cents on something that I didn't even remotely intend to spend any money on. I just got kind of pushed into it. Ow. False PhD did give me a black heart for picking it up, though, I think. Extra key as well. Health down for damage up. Ooh. There is an item in here that we can nearly afford. Uh, what the? Oh, I got phantom pains. I was like, what the hell hit me then? No, I got phantom pains. It's fine. Right, that's pretty good. We won't go down to that one because there's no way we'll be able to afford anything. And I don't want there to be sacred heart in there and it get taken out of our item pool because I saw it and can, can't afford it. So let's just go on down here. Okay, okay. Let's get out of the wet, wet, wet. Move along. Lovely. Ah. So yeah, on like each each character is typically gonna be like I don't know, like six or seven episodes to as long as we don't die a lot to get the completion marks. I think. Lovely. Okay. These guys have been a little tricky. Don't, don't, don't you hurt my dip like that. Don't you hurt my dip like that. Oh god. Yeah, our damage is definitely, uh, definitely waning at the minute. We, we, we really could use a, a damage boost. I'm hoping that false PhD is gonna be the, uh, the, the, the true G that I'm hoping it will be and provide us with quite a lot of damage via, like, range downs. Because this guy actually starts with quite a lot of range, so. Like, this, this form that we're in. It's a goddamn tech room. That is quite the attack you've got there. Look down. Oh, no. Unfortunately, look down for damage up isn't worth it. I, I would, but honestly, luck has been already very good for us. I do not want to compromise that. Okay. Cut the lasers, please. Oh, my mini Isaac just can't... He can't quite reach... Ooh, every 30 shots fire a charming icicle tier. I like that. That would also be a very good trinket to have on, um, to have on Abel with the charm. Okay, I don't know. I don't know what to expect here, but I can't imagine it's going to be good. Surprised I haven't been hit yet. It's a really weird room, to be honest. Really strange room to have a room this large with only those enemies in it. But yeah, at the minute we're kind of we're kind of reliant on our luck. Ooh, hello. Plus one luck. If the player is holding an active bean item, 75% chance to gain magic mush on entering the next floor. Once it is given magic mush, or if the player has already got magic bush. Magic bush? Magic mush. That's really goddamn good, but we would have to give up our apple for it, um, and we'd also need a bean item. That's a very specific interaction, but I, I really like the idea behind it. And then that's movement momentum, we don't care about that really. Right, pill. Another health down. Health downs and and uh, health downs, tears downs, and uh, what's it called? Re um, look downs are the big ones we don't want to be taking right now. 
That's all the game's throwing at us. Speed down. I can take a speed down for a damage up any day of the week. Hello, good sir. I don't need any charges from you right now. Yeah, I think this guy could do with a little bit more to make him slightly more interesting. I think this character's fine as is, but he's very, very vanilla. Speed down. I will take once again for a damage up. Lovely. I don't think I particularly care about the abacus. So I'll take... Oh, yes. Pot of gold. I really like pot of gold. Now we'll, uh, we'll see coins everywhere rather than uh, keys and bombs and other things. We can still get keys and bombs through these. That's kind of nice. That's kind of nice indeed. I, I really like Pot of Gold. It's, it's, I think it's one of my favorite items um, from the Milkshake mod. Just because of the, the like sheer amount of effort that went into it. Like, so much effort of making all these different coins went into this one item. And, like, it's one of those items as well. It, it, it initially kind of seems bad. It's like, oh, well, I don't get keys and bombs anymore and a few other things. Like, no, why would I want that? But then, like, you use it and you're like, oh, dude, actually, <laughs> actually, I'm getting keys, bombs, and then some out of all of this. Like, look, key right there. And it gave me a coin too. Key and a coin. Right, I'm going to use my, uh, my things here. What are they called? I can't remember the name of them now. My coffins. To block some shots. And create me some friends. Can you stop creating your own friends, good stir? Dude, the coffins the coffins take a lot of damage to die. Again, this this dude is also taking a lot of damage to die. Despite getting two damage ups, we still feel pretty weak. I wonder what the threshold for constant luck shot is. I bet it's like 26 luck or something crazy. Okay. Always with this attack. Luckily, the mini Isaacs are doing good. Oh, uh, some of them do actually fire. It seems to be that each coffin has a different mini Isaac inside it. Nice. We got Squeezy, very good for fire right here. And Soul Hearts are nice. And the Angel Deal shall provide us with... Blocks projectiles when hit, 20% chance to shield Isaac for 5 seconds. I think I'd rather take that than the other. Thank you, little bishop. Um, we have seen item room, we have not seen shop, and we've got a, we've got a membership card, so we really do want to check out the shop. Let's go. Oh! Didn't realise that was a cursed penny there. My bad, my bad. Got a key from this guy as well. And again, and double pennies there. Very good stuff in here. Toy drum, probably the one that we'll take. Um, we'll check out this first in case there's anything better. Ooh. We do have the uh, the firecracker flower, which is good, but I still think it needs some work as an item. Uh, exploding into petal tears after five seconds. It sounds like it could be pretty good, and it is interesting. But from my experience, most enemies are dead before they ever explode, which leaves it to be a little bit limited. But seen as seen as though it is it is a newish item, I will take it. Uh, do we have any keeper eye um, nickels here? No, we don't. Okay, I would like to get five more cent to try and grab a toy drum as well, but I don't know how likely that would be. All right, we've got two coins down here that are probably locked behind something. No. Okay, uh, let's let's just check through some of the older rooms here and see if we've uh, we've missed anything that might allude to us getting a little bit more cash. Only being three cent off makes me feel bad. I mean, unfortunately, there's a lot of poop around, but none of it's giving us any money. It'd be nice if it is. Ooh, the, the lag in this room's a bit bad. I really like the idea of that Jack Beanstalk. It's really good. I mean, to be fair, it's a plus one look upgrade as well. Do you know... I'm going to take that, mainly for the plus one look, um, in hopes that we do find a bean item eventually. Because, I'll be honest, at this stage, I'm probably probably going to stick in the form that I'm in for uh, my apple. Water bottle there. 
Unfortunately, it's not looking like there's a good way of us gaining much more money. So what I'll try and do is I'll bomb my uh, my beggar and hope that that gives us something. But I'm not supremely confident that it will. But Toy Drum is just like too good to pass up if, if it's plausible to get. I, th I think I've got to do my due diligence to try and find out a way. And that is... One penny off now. Okay, so I think at this point we blow up the other two shopkeeps and hope that one of them gives us the two cent drop. Which isn't... It's like a 33% chance, I think, that they drop two pennies. There's a penny there for five cents if you want to buy that. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Damn! Okay, what? Well, all out of luck and I don't think there's... Any which way we're getting another penny. Um, I'm trying to think if there's maybe anything else we can do, but I'll be honest, I'm not seeing it. I'm gonna, t I'm gonna take this. I need the damage. I know it sounds seems bad, but come on, fires! Yes, we did it. Okay, toy drum. Join the crew. Lovely. I do, I do really enjoy situations like this in Isaac where. You're sort of proposed with a, with a potential conundrum where there's an item you really want and you can't afford it or you can't get it. And you've got to basically scour the entire floor and exhaust every option you have to be able to get it. But then if it works out, or it, just, it just feels so like gratifying. Right, down we go. It, it, feels, it feels so good that like your efforts are not in vain. Ah, oh, right. Good, good. Having that extra point of luck should be helpful. Oh, hello. Um, bunch of money that comes with some bombs. I think yes, please. Even though all of this came with other options. I'm pretty happy to go with that. Oh, God. I accidentally unleashed that guy on me. But, like, if you can see what I mean here, like, we just, we just put that flower star thing on that enemy. And it just... It, it, it was pointless. What I'd suggest is either lower the overall time to like 2 or 2.5 or 3 seconds just to make it a little more viable in regular rooms or have it where if even like even if there's 10 flowers stuck on an enemy it make make it so that when that enemy dies at least one of them always detonates so that you always get something. Um, I will go for both of these. Got a battery charge out of one of them. Yeah, just, just to make it so that at least something happens. Because, yeah, right now, look, we've got the seed in him. Kill him. Nothing happens. It'd be nice if, if you have that seed in them that something happened. World card, lovely. Can't remember what wisdom does. Death. Death doesn't really matter. Don't bash that away from us. We need that, maybe. Death. Got oh, reverse moon. Lovely stuff. While holding fire button, uh no, we've used that before. I don't particularly like that item. I'll take random. And I'm pretty happy with that. I love the fact that you still get a shop even when the guy's uh like that. Of course, the costs down here are completely different, so we might not be able to afford anything, but let's take a little check regardless. Unfortunately, nothing there that's going to be worthwhile to us. Right, let's pop our card here. Hopefully we don't get stuck. Hey, the apple, which I believe, yes, is also luck-based. And there's a crawl space in here, too. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, wait, don't, don't. I've just realized what's going on here. Right, this, 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 this little bony dude needs to go away. Good, good. Ah, this is going to be ri really difficult. And I got it, I got it. Cool. Harlequin, baby. Not not particularly good, but part of our crew now. Why not? Yeah. Okay, so now we're firing a high amount of razors because of our current luck. I think we're in a good spot right now. Razors deal... Two times is it? Or three times damage? I didn't actually read. 2.6 times damage, something like that. They deal good damage, that's what I'm trying to say. 
obviously just been to our shop. Smelter. I think it's worth smelting for 10 cent. Full card. Not bad, not bad. Right, okay. Boss time. Ooh, we can we can get a crit razor. That's that's rather interesting. Okay, yeah, our damage is now pretty ludicrous if we uh, if we get lucky. They look st the stars on him there. Only just exploded. It's a, it, that's, that's a boss fight, and it only just exploded. It's like it just it needs to be more more like somehow more common in some way or another. Ooh. Thank God I destroyed that poop. Yeah, it needs to be more common in one way or another. By the way, don't worry about the key piece. I don't do the maze because it's really laggy when you mod. I just spawn it in once we get to the boss. Um, yeah, it, it needs to be more viable to actually explode. The vast majority of times, you, you don't you don't see it activate, which is a shame because it's, it's a really cool item with a cool effects. I'd like to see it activate more. But yeah, we've also got piercing now. Um... Piercing and uh, I got hit by. I'm getting hit by something. I don't know what. I am confusion. Right. Goddamn crows in this room. Yeah, we got piercing and spectral now. As long as the tier like travels a certain distance. Crows, do your thing. Just just land already. Reminds me of the ones in Nuclear Throne. They are equally as annoying. Ah, okay. We need flight to get over there, I guess. Health isn't particularly great right now. I kind of wish I hadn't have taken that health down. Good, good. You can see our consumable game is just on fire right now. It's like great. We've got plenty of money, always. We got plenty of bombs, we got more than plenty of keys. We're getting healing, we're getting soul hearts. It's just an all-round very good item. And I, I do like the fact that it's in the shop as well. Like, uh, like sometimes it, it, I think that modders have this have have a case of doing things weirdly in, in terms of putting things in whatever like item pools. Like, personally, I think there's a lot of things in the shop pool that don't even remotely belong in the shop pool. Like Toy Drum. Toy Drum, in my in my experience or my opinion, doesn't belong in the shop pool at all. It is an exclusively damaging item, and typically damage items don't appear in the shop. Obviously, with the exception of Champion Belt, but I think there's always one or two exceptions to the rule. Um, in, in, like, item pools, there's always going to be a few items that appear in the wrong or, like, pools that you wouldn't expect them in. Um, so I think it's fine to have a few of those. What is this? A 45 cent. Sweet release. I would very much like to get that, considering I don't know what it is. I'm going to try and buy it. 45 cent is quite a bit of cheddar, though, so we've got a ways to go yet. Um, but based on the money we've got coming in, it could happen. Um... And yeah, so I think there shouldn't be. It's fine to have a few, if like, especially obviously, like there's there's one to to begin with, uh, with champion belt, or at least I think one. There might be more, but I think there's only one, um, to begin with with champion belt. And then um, when mods are activated, there's like basically double the amount of items in the pool. Um, <gasps> it's a beam. Huzzah! Magic mush. Here we come. I'm sorry, Apple. I am leaving you. Uh, you are. You are being left behind. I think I'll take the Eternal Heart. Thank you. Um, yeah, uh, so like when there's, more when there's more items in the pool, you find Champion Belt less often. Therefore, putting one other, two other I damaging items in there is okay. But there are some things in there that maybe don't fit, or sometimes it gets a little too many damaging items. But I think Pot of Gold is in a really good spot because it's, it's money related, it's consumable related. And utility is what the shop should be for. And I, I, I feel like the the sort of issue I have or issue I see a lot of the time is just that um, the item pools, uh, uh, people sort of think of more as just thematic than anything else. Um, 
or, or they don't even really sort of put that much thought into it. And I'm not saying the developers who put Toy Drum in there are completely incorrect. I'm not saying it's a terrible idea or anything like that. Ooh, 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 ooh. Two tokens is very nice. We've got to leave them there and wait until we get a better penny or soul heart or something. Um, Got to go moon. No, we can't get over there. Oh, wait, we can get over here, though. Wait, minus two luck? Okay, no, we don't want that. See, there's, there's plus two soul hearts. We'll take the two soul hearts and we'll take the two tokens, and that's four soul hearts granted. I'd say that's pretty good. Yeah, item pools could be a fine balance. It could be a difficult thing to get right. Oh, wait. I picked up a penny at the end of the room. I'm stupid. Oh, balls. I just realized, yeah, I I've ruined that. I picked up a penny at the end of that room because I opened the chest. And I wasted the soul heart opportunity. Could have had four soul hearts there. Ooh, we did get one of these, though, which should give us some burn hearts or black hearts. So we take a black heart. A black heart. Dry a Bebski. Right, back over this way. Make sure I actually get my black heart here. There you go. I love the tokens. They're such a good idea. They're rare enough as well to be like, ooh, shit, token, when you find one. Teleport. Luckily into the room just before this one. Not too far away. Okay, mausoleum one boss. Okay, my, my dips just spawned on top of him and absolutely ruined him there. That was pretty lovely. Angel deal here. Two very good items. I'm going to take Spirit of Acceptance. One, because it's plus luck, which I like. But two, because random items is always fun. And we already have piercing, so we don't really need the angel item. Now, the quest is to get a bit more money. Just a little bit. We don't need a lot. If we can get a bit more money, we'd be very happy. Um... Are we looking, scouring the entire floor? Arcade. I think you guys are all just getting bombed. There you go, baby. One penny off. We did it. We did it. Right, so we can go and get whatever that quality four item was. Obviously, no EID description, so we have no idea what it's about to do for us. But I'll imagine it's probably pretty good. Uh, it it's, it said something about sacrifice, didn't it? I can't remember. Or was that the apple that said sacrifice? Sweet release is what it said. Doesn't change uh, how we fire. Better herb. I, better herb. Better herb can can die. I hate better herb. It gave us it gave us herb on our tainted lost run recently, and that. That herb was swiftly negated by it not working whatsoever. We're at nine luck now, which is really nice. And yeah, no idea what this item's going to do for us. Um, so I guess we'll find out. I'm guessing it'll be maybe an on kill effect. With it being quality four, I doubt it's on hit. So I'm going to imagine it's something on kill. Uh, but you never know. Just with the just with the sweet relief or whatever it was called. The, the tagline. Unfortunately, we we do in, indeed still have... Oh, no, we... We did get Magic Mush. We just still have our beam. Okay, nice. I, that's a cool trinket. As if we got lucky enough for that to work. Crack this open. We don't know what we're getting here. What items do we have that can be traded? Um, I don't actually see which one's Dirty Mine, I don't think. Could be Magic Mush. I'm going to gamble. 
Oh, the spikes there. I don't have flight anymore. You know what? Just bomb this to get out of the way. Ah, it was membership card. What does that do then? Each trap door leads to a black market. Okay, I'm actually pretty happy with that. That's pretty good. We've got one last shop and we get to go to a black market. We have a lot of HP to trade, so... I think that's fair. Oh, don't you... F don't you start flying, you stupid bird. But yeah, this, this run has become much more mother-worthy than it originally looked like it was going to be. Especially with the luck that we've got right now. Ooh, and the tears. We'll go to our black market here. And shall we just go hell for leather? Blue map, decent. Charge baby, decent. Good, good, we even got a soul heart there out of that. Car battery. Double car battery. PhD. Battery acid. A tears up. A spindle. Crowdfunder. I think we'll leave it at that. Mm, no, I'm gonna gamble. I'm gonna gamble. Glizzy. Okay, Glizzy gave us another HP up. Okay. Very nice. Very, very nice. Crowdfunder I'm intrigued by. Um, I think I want to just spend my money on stuff. Quickly go through here. What's this little light I've got with me? This isn't night light, is it? Got an item here. Red map. We got the blue map. We got the red map. You get out of here, blocks. Oh, that was a Yera. Probably should have played that a bit better. Okay. Oh, where we go. Oh, we have fear upon entering this room. Let's do the poops. Crowdfunder. Oh, wait. Mm. <laughs> I can recycle my pennies into consumables. There's a chance that I lose them, but that's still pretty funny. I'm not, probably not going to use the crowdfunder that often. It fires incredibly slow. I thought it was going to be like a minigun. Lock up as well. Beautiful. Yeah, this, 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 this run slaps right now. This run's very good. Maybe I should install the, um, the mod for runs continue past mother. I don't know if that lets you go to Dark Path. Shattered Orb, interesting one. Metal player. Oh, I kind of wish I'd have got soy milk with this setup, but I'll take this uh, this active. I'll try it out. Cool. Oh, dude. That room fully recharged us there. Okay. Out we go. Yeah, we got we get we got double charges going on from the leaky thing now. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like having this active does anything with double car battery, which is a shame. I don't even know if double car battery works, but I really hope it does. I think I've got a mod on that makes it work, I think. Ferryman. We haven't seen you in some time. Let's let's try out the ferryman, shall we? I love the little animation he plays. Take me to wherever you'd like, fragment. Right, gotta do all of these without letting the little ghosties die. Considering our power, that shouldn't be too hard. Remember, there is one room where there's the guy in the middle. Oh, this one's this one's trickier. This one's mm. 
not really as I assumed it to be. Right. Right, last one. This is the one with him in the middle of the room, I think. Or not, maybe it's just random. I could just lose the charge there. Hey, we finally did it. We finally got the ferryman to work. He reveals the item. Astral projection. Not great, but cool. I actually got to work on this room and have it have it work as it should for once. I like that a lot. Bye bye friends. It's worth looking out for those guys. I'm guessing that those um those can only appear on certain floors. Or like after a certain amount of floors, should I say, is most of the point. Oh, dude, where the hell's the boss at? We went every which wrong way we possibly could have gone by the looks of it. Right. Quickly get to that. Good, good. Still got a lot of money here. Uh, we have seen our shop this floor, though, so... Second secret room's right here as well. Might as well go in there. Unfortunately, nothing of value there. Boss disc. Yeah, with the amount of crits and raises and stuff we're getting, it's it's pretty nutty here. We did get a devil deal, weirdly. Unfortunately, we don't know what we're getting, so I'm not going to take those with our current HP. And we'll go... Oh, milkshake, you may be having an issue. <laughs> um, stop making me have to click on the text box, goddammit. Maybe if I get rid of that, it'll, it'll just auto to the text box. Give... Knife... I can't, like, click down to... It'd be good if I could just click down to, like, click on that one there. Phase two, thank you. Good, uh, wait until that thing hatches. There you go. I'm liking the amount of mini dudes we've got with us with this, um, these coffins. They're a lot better than I thought they'd be. They break quite often. I'll head over towards second secret room here. Hope that's the right way. I'm not quite sure what these guys do. These seem new. What kind of hand is this also? I don't know what hand I've, I'm waiting for here. Okay. I'm going to guess this is an actual way to the boss, considering how close this is to us. Oh, maybe it is. Maybe it is. You never know. Tears up again. Okay, we're at max tears now anyways. Bunch of D8s. I'm sorry, game, but you know I can't be doing that. D8s are just... Unless you have it as an actual item, almost never worth it. Is that it? There's a spider somewhere, isn't there? There you go, we got it. We don't need money at this point, so we can leave that as is. Good. Oh, hello. <laughs> and goodbye. It looks like this might be the way, actually. Yes, it was. Lovely. Oh, was that? Okay, that, that red stuff on the floor there. Might be creep that damages me. Might just be. Bit of foolish of me to not assume it was, to be honest. And here we get restock. Whoa, that's going to be good. Planetarium disc, just to pop that off. Yes. 
beautiful stuff. If we land a good couple of crits, just, yeah, just insta-kills things. Another devil deal here. Unfortunately, we still can't see what we're getting, I don't think. No, we can't. Just not worth it. I, like, we've already got very little health here. We want to make sure we've got enough for the boss, which even I'd say this probably isn't enough for the boss. Oh, we got Luna for this floor. So we did get some extra uh, secret rooms, which is kind of nice. Oh, there was a red chest there. I should go check that for soul hearts. Oh, man, these enemies that throw out spiders can be a real nuisance. Right, quickly open that up. No soul hearts, sadly. I think these can drop hearts as well, so best check them. Ooh, beautiful that we checked this. For one, we get the Lunar Fire Rate bonus, which is absolutely huge and will help us on our boss fight. Very glad that we uh, popped that planetarium disc. But also on top of that, I mean, blue map in itself is really helpful here, to be honest. On top of that, double soul heart puts our health completely in the clear now, I'd say. Get out of the way, dude. You're sat in my spot. Now, obviously, this fire rate bonus won't be as hefty as the last. But it'll still be helpful. Right, yeah. I think I think we're pretty much home clear here. I'll check this out just in case it's something crazy. I could D6 this and, and potentially throw it all in the bin, but we're so close to the victory, I, I, I couldn't possibly. Bad hit there. It's these guys that just throw out a billion spiders, man. Uh, also, the sp when the spiders are, like, sort of jumping out and spawning and they're in the air, it's annoying that you can't still hit them. I kind of understand why, obviously, but... Still annoying. And no fire rate burners from that room. And we can't get into the next one. Okay, boss time it is. Why is like little patches of green in the corners? Oh, I left that disc there. That was stupid. I didn't know that. I didn't know the disc would spawn there. Oh, there's another disc over there though. Which we'll probably have to wait for phase two to grab. All those maggots become ours. Lovely. Okay, this is a boss where the uh, the fl the flower is actually pretty useful because now it's actually going to start triggering, as you can see, and and here. Chaos disc. Not great, but the hollowed ground poop. Could be useful, maybe. Oh no, my little ghosty. It's okay, he gives us HP when he dies. It was tactical. Look at all those seeds going on in there. Amazing. Oh, there is a hollow ground poop there, look. We can keep it alive. We can utilize it for bonus stats. Briefly. Uh, oh yeah, he, I was going to say, will we get stuck on it? And he kind of did. There you go, though. That is our mother mark unlocked for this character. Unlocking Adam's rib. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. And I'll see you guys in the next one.